Hey, what's up guys? I am so excited to be making the first Lego Star Wars uh, video on my channel. I got to play the game for the first time last night and I have to say that it's absolutely incredible. So I definitely wanted to make uh, this a, a thing on my channel, making Lego Star Wars content. So today we're going to be going over some co-op play. Um, <clears throat> my buddy played with me last night, which was really cool. And I felt the game flowed really well um, in terms of co-op and the two-player mode. So we're going to be taking a look at that and also just sort of my first initial thoughts about the game. And um, yeah, we're going to have some, some gameplay of Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon fighting Darth Maul. I figured that's a really cool co-op mission to show. If you don't have the game, I highly recommend it. Um, I, I've only played episode one so far, and again, it's it's definitely really, really good. So I'm super excited to make this a part of my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for supporting. Let's get into it. So unlike Kylo Ren's lightsaber right there, I just think this game absolutely works. Um, the two player specifically is pretty awesome. I really love the way that they did the split screen and I know that they've done something similar in the past Lego games, but this one just seems to flow very well and it really does create a true split screen experience. And when you get more into the open world aspects of the game, it really helps a lot to be able to just go whatever direction that, you know, you need to go as as one player. So in the old games, you know, there was a lot of pushing and pulling to try and, you know, go wherever you wanted to go when your buddy is over here trying to collect 10 cent studs and you're over here trying to get the mission done. Um, it, it can definitely be a little annoying. So that this this game really fixes that, and I love that aspect. As you can see, sort of me and my buddy are at two different points right here, and um, the game still flows very smoothly. I'm on the right as Obi-Wan, and he's on the left as Qui-Gon. And um, in moments like this where you have, like, the, the story playing out and it's a true, like, two-character experience in a sense, it, it's really cool to... Uh, to see that now in terms of the gameplay itself just you know as the, the of the smoothness of the game i mean i don't think there's really anything comparable to it in terms of lego the lightsaber fighting um the the movements of each character are very unique and it really feels like uh more like jedi fallen order than you know the complete saga video game which I truly didn't expect. I knew it was going to be pretty cool and, you know, they were going to add a lot of detail into the characters, but as you can see, I'm over here flipping around and doing sort of Obi-Wan things, but when you see Qui-Gon fighting, um, he's just a little bit slower and more, not clunky, but he's more Qui-Gon in a sense, which is really, really cool. And um, I also really like the heads-up display. I think everything makes a lot of sense. You have a map. Um, which helps a lot and you, you didn't get that in the last uh, game because it really wasn't as open world um, as this game this game really is uh, as close to an open world as Jedi Fallen Order is which again I really didn't expect that and they blend the levels in so well with the open world aspect but it feels like you're just watching the movie, which is pretty cool. You almost kind of forget that you're playing um, in a good way, and it's just so smooth. And I, if, if there's one word to describe this game, it is smooth, because, I mean, I, I really haven't played anything like it in terms of that experience. Um, and you'll have to play it for yourself, because I sort of had the complete saga um, in my mind, you know, as I'm going through and playing this and I'm like, well, there should be something in this room because they always put mini kits in rooms like this, you know, but it's different in a lot of ways, which is good. And, um, you'll, you'll just have to play it for yourself to, to sort of see those differences. Um, but as you can see, we're absolutely working Darth Maul right now and, um, he's not going to last too much longer. I don't want to say the game is easy, um, but I would say there's a kind of a different sort of, of play style in terms of the actual story mode. 
it does seem pretty easy to kind of fly through the story, but I can tell that they've added a lot in terms of the open world and free play aspect that is a little bit more difficult and time consuming, you know, trying to find uh, certain uh Kyber bricks and mini kits, uh, those types of things are going to take you a while and you're definitely going to have to play through again, you know, to be playing with those bounty hunters and Sith characters that can uh, open the special doors and whatnot. So there are a lot of similarities to the complete saga, but there also is just a lot of new fun stuff. And I think they did a really good job of, you know, we already got the first six movies in the complete saga. And I think they did a really, really great job of, you know, keeping what the the, the levels that obviously we're going to want and are the main points of the movie, but also adding in some of the stuff that we didn't get. Um, the next level after this one is the Gungan battle with the droids. And that's really cool to see. And just a little bit more appreciation, you know, for the overall movie, which I really like. So... Yeah, honestly, guys, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting this game if you're a fan of Star Wars or a fan of Lego or both. Um, and if you are a fan of the complete saga, I mean, this this game is really making me forget about that game, which is which is a lot to say. So I'm going to let this play out here and you can you can finish watching the end of uh, of us taking down Darth Maul together. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back with more LEGO content, LEGO Star Wars content, and enjoy the rest of this video. May the Force be with you. No, no. 